After a year of lockdowns and restrictions due to COVID-19, it is good to see more positive news emerging as vaccine rollout are accelerating. At the EU IPO, we have been keeping the focus on delivering services for customers as well as cooperating with the EU institutions and stakeholders on SME support. The IDs Powered for Business SME Corner on our website now has over 220 pro bono providers and almost 500 service requests from SMEs have been received. Having reached our target for this pilot, we are now going to conduct our promised evaluation and see what improvements can be made. The second window of the SME fund to apply opened at the beginning of this month and runs until the 31st of March. The fund was created to support IP advice and applications for trademarks and designs for EU SMEs. It operates under the European Commission's COSME programme for competitiveness, with Member States' Intellectual Property Office playing a central role. We received 1,200 requests covering 3,000 IP titles in the first application window, with over 80% of the businesses applying for their first IP right. Support offers are already going out and we have seen significant increases in requests since the opening of the second window on the 1st of March. These initiatives are very much a joint effort, as I emphasized at the most recent meeting of the EU IPO user group, when we gave one of the regular updates to the user association who cooperate with the office. From the second window opening, we are also allowing existing representatives to act on behalf of SMEs, which provides an additional channel to access help. The past year has seen fluctuating demand for IP rights, but based on EU IPO's recent experience, there is a healthy interest in this important asset as well as a pent-up demand from SMEs who are taking their first step to register them. The growth in demand from IP rights from China companies have been one of the stories of the pandemic. China became the number one source of applications for EU trademarks during 2020 and in the early months of this year is now also the largest source of registered community designs. Overall, demand for designs has suffered, which is a pity since design is a very accessible IP right and could be a prime choice for SMEs. However, the EU trademarks, which are the largest contributor to the office's registration workload and to its budget, the picture is completely different. China, Germany and France show strong increases, even though the United States, the UK, Italy and Spain, among others, still have a slower recovery. Overall, if we compare with the first two months of 2021 with the same period of last year, before COVID-19, demand for EU trademarks is up by a remarkable 10% plus. The office is currently looking together with the European Commission, the Member States IP offices and all our stakeholders at more ways to help the recovery. This crisis is going to have long-lasting economic consequences, but IP stakeholders have the potential to make a very positive contribution. To maximize our impact, we need to ensure that IP offices and IP professionals become a more integral part of an ecosystem that supports innovation and creativity. The EU will be making billions of euros available in innovation-related support for the recovery, Let's think about what more we can do to help make sure this money hits the right target. Thank you for listening. Stay strong and safe.